New at nine, well, depending on your age or interests, you know George Takei for one or more of these reasons. As a cast member on the original Star Trek and, of course, a Comic-Con legend as a result of that, or maybe as a Howard Stern Show regular. You might know him also as a gay icon and a social media guru. But no matter how you know him, two things are clear. George Takei has a fan following that spans all ages, and it's hard not to love this guy. We caught up with George and his husband, Brad, here in Arizona, where they live part-time. If you're young at heart. <laughs> Brad, you didn't join in. The smile is the first thing you notice, the booming voice the next. But it's that laugh that stays with you. George and Brad Takei and me catching up and catching some rays at the Phoenician Resort. Can we somehow make a day of this? Let's drag it out. Yes. The couple has been together for 27 years and they are part-time Arizona. It is so wonderful to be here where you have the warmth of the sun. Arizona is our getaway home where we come to relax and just enjoy the the beauty of the state. Brad had his mother up there in Sholo, mm -hmm. and uh, we were constantly visiting her. We started looking and we found one cabin and uh, we, uh, it was convenient. But then my relatives wanted to come visit and so we decided to get a bigger four bedroom uh, cabin. George and I decided to get our wedding bands here in the Phoenix area at the Heard Museum. It, always reminds us of our Arizona connection no matter where we are on the planet Earth. Dear Mom, George and I are standing here at the Mogollon Rim to scatter your ashes. Our state even featured in To Be To K, the very entertaining documentary about George's life. Some of it should go into the canyon. Well, it's too late. It's too dangerous. Oh, I just got some in my eye. That, she, she got in my eye, too. But this trip back to Arizona is even more special. Since October, it's been a marriage equality state. Mm, yeah. You know, Arizona's been my birth state. I'm 60 years old, so I think, I think this is one of the happiest moments of my whole association with Arizona. Our marriage is now recognized by the federal government. George and I pay our federal taxes, we pay our state taxes. Uh, if we, if we have a certain the couple have been active in fighting for LGBT rights, and they've changed a lot of minds along the way through some very unlikely avenues. Oh, there he is. Hold it. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him right now. There he is. That's you, man. Hi. Good to be here. No one warned me. It was 1990, and I didn't know who Howard was. I was in the waiting room uh, flipping through some magazines, and they had uh, the radio on. And it was the most disgusting t discussion that was going on. I said to the other guy who was uh, fl flipping through magazines, I said, why can't they get some nice music on? This discussion is really rep repulsive. And he said, that's a show we're wa waiting to go on. <laughs> I, I, my jaw dropped. I walked in, and here's this skinny guy. And so I said, good morning. And he said, oh, you've got a deep voice. Anyone with a voice that deep has to have a big <laughs> I said, are we on the air? <laughs> and he said, yep. And I, I said, oh, my. And he had that on tape. And he's been playing it ever since then. <laughs> the beginning of a George Takei catchphrase. Oh, my. Quatron from Shark. <laughs> oh, my. And the beginning of a long relationship between George and a predominantly straight audience. So many people sent me emails after that saying, uh, I'm straight, married, um, ch with children, but, you know, if there is something that uh, comes up in my community that's uh, a uh, hurtful to you, uh, we will vote against it. We were really touched by that. The Takeys have a busy year ahead. 2015 right. is the year of allegiance. We're going to be on Broadway with this uh, musical, uh, which has content. A musical about the Japanese Americans who were forced into American internment camps during World War II. George was one of the tens of thousands imprisoned. And I can never forget that morning. We saw two soldiers with bayonets on their rifle. They stomped up the front porch and banged on the door. They did not. My father answered it and literally at gunpoint, we were ordered out of our home. He's doing what he can to educate others on this often forgotten chapter of American history. I did grow up imprisoned behind American barbed wire fences simply because we happened to look like the people that bombed Pearl Harbor. And I remember after we were released, after the war was over, how 
hard my parents worked to get back on their feet. At 77, Takei looks back with no bitterness. It's been, uh, um, I, I was going to say, fantastic life, and I guess that's an appropriate word. And with his attitude and outlook, George Takei predicts more fantastic days ahead. Oh, my. Absolutely love that man. The 50th anniversary of Star Trek is coming up in just a couple of years, and George will be making an appearance in an upcoming Star Trek film. And by the way, his Broadway musical, it uh, debuted last year in San Diego to rave reviews, will make its opening in New York come November of this year. And if you'd like to watch more of my interview with George Takei and his husband Brad, we have posted it on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Fox 10 Phoenix. I don't think George is busy enough. He needs more projects. Oh, I know. He makes you feel lazy Unbelievable. <laughs> when you're around him.